Hey everyone, Elliot, your Western Regional Sales Manager with Cabernet Corp. I'm joined here with Michael Kerrigan. Thank you so much for joining. Um, we are talking today about Hayshed Hill um, and his wines from Margaret River. Um, Kegs, uh, this is your nickname. Yep. Um, tell us a little bit about, you know, what makes your vineyard so, so unique and, um, and maybe about the terroir, age of the vines, uh, et cetera. Thanks, Elliot. Well, I'm, Hayshed Hill is in Margaret River. Now, I don't know if you know Australia, but that's the bottom left-hand corner. So right on the southwest corner. Um, it's probably one of the cooler parts of the country. Um, Hayshed Hill and Margaret River were both established not that long ago, I guess, in a global sense, but in the late 60s. So Hayshed Hill was planted in 1973. So one of those pioneer vineyards of Margaret River, along with my neighbour just to my left here, Vas Felix, uh, Moss Wood, which is just behind me, Cullen. So we're in that, some, I guess. Some big that, names. Yeah, some big names. Yeah, yeah. The dress circle of, um, of Margaret River. Uh, we're in a region, it's called Williabrup. So uh, I don't expect anybody to to pronounce or spell that. Well, there'll be a test later on on spelling that. Um, <laughs> but look, it's a wonderful, we're in that Goldilocks zone of where we get uh, maximum sunlight, but we get a wonderful cooling influence coming off the Indian Ocean. So it allows us to grow um, varieties such as Chardonnay, mm -hmm. um, but maintain a, a delicacy about those Chardonnays, so not overblown. And the same with the Cabernet. We get lots of uh, long day, we get a long day, but we don't get a particularly hot day. So we don't end up with those overblown, um, high alcohol, dead fruit type of Cabernet. Sure. That's, that's not our thing. So um, it, it's, it's quite a small region, um, but, but it certainly punches above its weight, no doubt yeah, about it. Yeah, I mean, you, um, said, you said it was established, what was it, in the 70s or so? So that makes your yeah, mind... Yeah, so it's 73. They're about 48, 48 years old, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's dry grown, which I, I think that would surprise a lot of people with the, you know, the natural thought that uh, Australia is a very hot, yeah. arid place. Yeah, but um, look, we get a lot of rain here at Hayshed Hill. We get about a thousand mils a year, which is a, a lot. Um, yeah. Uh, but we get that in winter. So we have classically dry, warm summers, wet, cold winters, um, mm -hmm. which is ideal. So it's a very benign place for growing grapes because we don't get rain in winter and summer and we also have this beautiful Indian Ocean breeze that comes in every afternoon so if there is any moisture around it dries it out so we're in terms of disease uh, this wind is grown organically uh, it's not certified but there's no need to use any of these sure. uh, non-organic inputs because we don't have the disease pressure. Yeah. Awesome and um, I believe it was uh, your you and your wife that purchased the vineyard yep. you've been maintaining that yep. for, for how long now uh so at least uh, my wife Lisa and i bought the vineyard in 2006 so what's that about 15 years um i used to be the winemaker for a larger company just behind me here um but the opportunity to come to hatchet hill and buy and, and make estate wines and that, that was really something that i wanted to do to to make wines that highlight the terroir of, of this site uh and that that was a passion i had um and I enjoy, I enjoy, I enjoy being able to have these grapes behind us to show you what is in the glass. You know, um, sure. when you sit here and you look at those vines and you know that what you're drinking came from those vines. I think there's a there's a satisfaction about that that I enjoy. Yeah, awesome. That's that's really good to hear. You always have to have the passion in wine. I and, always have to um, have the passion. And uh, prior Absolutely. prior to your management, you said that the these particular grapes were, were going to those big kind of big names. Yeah. Of yeah. So, so this was a vineyard initially that sold its grapes to, to the neighbors. Um, but the winery itself was established in 1981. So it, it didn't have that head start that some of those bigger names have, have okay. had. Um, and it's a small family owned vineyard with limited resources. So, <laughs> you know, we, we make good wine, but we don't advertise a lot. Sure. Well, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's great. We're going to get you there. Um, All right. and I can't wait for people to try these wines. So let's, let's get on to those too. in the next Me videos too. and, uh, stay tuned guys. Thank you. Thanks Elliot. See ya.